welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming what's in my bag because if you didn't know already, I'm going travelling. I have another video where I've sort of explained and also a QA and a about travelling, but this video is what I'm packing in my bag for travelling in Central America. So I am going backpacking for three months to Guatemala, Nicaragua and Costa Rica. I think we're spending about six weeks in Guatemala, three in Nicaragua and three in Costa Rica. Does that add up? I think so. That's the rough plan, but we'll see what happens. So first things first, I have got, oh, this is my bag. Let me hold it up so you can see the whole thing. There we go. So it's an Osprey Fairview. 50, 55, 55, Osprey Fairview 55, I'm sure of it. I haven't used it yet, so I'll let you know how it goes. <laughs> I chose this bag because it was recommended by loads of people, but also because it has a detachable day bag, rucksack that zips onto the front like this. So it's just useful for carrying all your stuff in one go. This is slightly too big for carry-on luggage, but I have read lots and lots of reviews that say that people got away with it. So I'm really praying to the luggage gods that they let me on the plane with this, otherwise I'm gonna be paying a lot of money to a lot of airlines. <laughs> so here we go. Let's open up this bag. Good thing about this bag, and the one thing I did want to get was that it opens up like a suitcase, like the whole top comes off. Here we are. Oh, let's put it there. First things first, sorry, I've just realised I've not been looking at the lens, I've been looking at me on the screen, so sorry about that, just try and make it better now. I bought some Tavers, Taver Hurricanes something, 2.0 or something like that. They seem really comfortable, I've been wearing them around the house. These are going to be my trekking sandals, um, I think these are what I'm going to wear most of the time. I've also got a pair of flip flops here, which I've attached to the front of my bag because so they don't really fit in. Well, I could squeeze them in, but at the moment they're on the front. And they are in a shower cap because I learned this tip from a travel YouTuber. Put your shoes in a shower cap because then you don't get, the dirtiness doesn't go everywhere. So these are gonna have a shower cap too. And then I'm traveling in these trainers which are just some chunky white trainers, they're sketches, so they're very comfy. They're not exactly trekking trainers, but on my way to Guatemala, I'm just spending a week in New York, and I needed a shoe that I could wear in the evening if I'm going to the theatre, going for dinner, something that isn't a really ugly dad sandal. So um, that's where these come in. I thought if I get a pair of white trainers with good, grippy stuff on the bottom that I like then I can wear them in New York and then they can get as dirty as they like when I go traveling as long as they've got good grip they'll be good for hiking in that was my theory I'll let you know how it goes <laughs> so my bag is organized into different packing cubes so this bag let's start with this one who knows what's in there oh this is my tops I have definitely overpacked I have far too many tops, but they're so small, they fit. What's the problem? <laughs> some of them folded, some of them rolled, depending on what needed to happen. So in here, I have one ISO cool t-shirt. I think it's some kind of special keeps you cool t-shirt. Wicks the sweat. I have this kind of, this is my only sort of nice-ish evening top but it will have to be for a hot evening as you can see it's quite a small top it just goes here and it ties around i have this top which actually has some matching trousers i have three white shouldered crop tops i have two little black strappy tops i have two little blue strappy tops and I have a white strappy top and then I've got a t-shirt as well. It is a Spice Girls t-shirt. I'm just spreading the girl power around the world. I know it's too many, I'm well aware I won't wear them all, but I don't care, they all fit in the bag. So what's the problem? I just wanna take them all, okay? Can't decide, I'm really not very good at packing light. That is my tops. Then, I have another bag which is my bottoms, I think. Oh no, yes. 
This is all in ones and bottoms. I've got a pair of black leggings, which I'll wear when on like buses. People say there's a lot of aircon on the buses, planes, trains if they're cold, cold evenings, all of those things. Black leggings, absolutely essential. I have a pair of sort of beigey, greeny grey shorts. Just some nice, thin, lightweight shorts. And I have the same as these in black as well. Then I have my favourite thing. I think this is like the best thing I've packed. But I'll let you know when I come back if I agree. Little black play suit that is super cool, super comfy. Doesn't crease really. And it's just a dream for just chucking on. It's really airy and flowy. I love it. That's that packing cube. Then we have my next small one. I'm not gonna show you everything in here because there's some X-rated items. This is underwear, swimwear, sportswear. So we have another ISO cool top. These are just Mountain Warehouse, by the way, and they were on um, sale, they always are. This was like a tenner. I have one set of like workout gear. I've just got some shorts, a workout top, one of these bands. Oh, and a sports bra. And that's literally it for workout gear. I've got one set and that's it. I've got a pair of pyjamas in here, just shorts and a t-shirt. That will be the only pyjamas I take. I've got two pairs of train socks and, oh, do you think that's enough? <sighs> just a little point, I am the most indecisive person on the planet. So packing for this has been an absolute nightmare. And I'm already worried that I haven't got enough socks. I think I might need more than two pairs of socks. I'll be wearing a pair of socks, so maybe it's enough. I'll think about it anyway. I've got one long pair of socks. Oh, God. One long pair of socks, two short pairs of socks, and I'll be wearing one more. So maybe that's enough. Let's hope so. Loads of pairs of pants, as many as I can fit in the bag, basically, because why not? Just means you don't have to wash your pants so often. And then I've got three bikini bottoms and two bikini tops which can all be chopped and changed together. And that's that. I wanted a swimming costume for things like, you know, more sort of vigorous water activities. But if I'm honest, well, I'll just have to get one there if I really need one. The bikinis are mostly fine. I don't have big boobs. So they're not going to fly around anywhere, really. So I'm hoping I'll be all right. Fingers crossed. Right, that's that. Done. That's all of my clothes that are packed. I just also have my airport outfit. <gasps> Another pair of black leggings because I have a feeling in Guatemala I'm going to be wearing these quite a lot. My pair of socks, a long sleeve comfy blue top and a jumper. I'm actually taking a beige version of this jumper but it's at Ollie's house so I can't show it to you right now but I've got it in the pile just to remind myself I'm taking a jumper. And a hat. I don't think I'm a hat person <laughs> but I'm taking one. So. Maybe I'll become a hat person on my way. That is it for all of my clothes that I'm taking. Makes me nervous saying that because I just don't feel like it's enough. Um, but I'm actually talking rubbish because another pair of trousers my mum is trying to take up for me, take in, make them fit me so that I can take them. Thank you, mum. So moving on, we have left in this bag. Number one is a load of tampons. I literally have a pack full of sanitary products and tampons because firstly i'm too much of a chicken to try a moon cup yet secondly i have read in central america that you know you won't always find the products that you prefer or need then we have this little bag this is completely unnecessary but i just thought because we want to do here and there a couple of nice things in the evenings I thought I might want the tiniest bit of makeup. So I've got a little hand mirror. I've got a little pocket here with some hair bands and hair grips if I want to do something fancy with my hair. I've got my smallest palette of eyeshadow, which actually has nine different shades in. It's not too bad, not too shabby. I have a bronzer. Oh my God, this bronzer is so old. And then my makeup brushes. And I will also have my Refi eyebrow thing and a mascara just those little bits to freshen me up make me feel good if we go somewhere fancy next up i have the biggest packing cube and this has got things like well let's have a look first up i have two microfiber towels towel for the beach towel for showers i have a spare sleep mask because uh i can't sleep without sleep masks i love them 
so that's my spare then under there i have my inflatable neck pillow silk sleeping bag liner big up to my brother for giving me this so that if you're in a hostel that you just don't feel like it's the bed's clean or you think there's bed bugs or whatever it is you can sleep inside this liner it's like a little cocoon for you to sleep in and you'll feel cleaner on the same theme as that i also have a pillowcase which i'm taking and then i have a little pack away bag this is going to be for like dirty laundry or just transferring laundry if we have to go to a laundrette a raincoat again courtesy of my lovely brother a poncho underneath that i have little packs of tissues because my hay fever is terrible and i just feel it's going to be bad in guatemala I have a mini dry bag, just this big, to fit in like personal belongings things. I have a load of wet wipes, some spare tampons, and then I have a waterproof laptop cover because I am taking my laptop and I might need that at some point. So that is in there too. Sorry, there's a bit of Tetris going on here, so I'm just trying to make it all nice and snugly. That's the biggest packing cube. We're now just into miscellaneous bits and bobs. I have a big dry bag that should fit my whole rucksack in it, maybe? Maybe not. And I've also just very recently realised that somewhere I have a waterproof backpack cover. But where is it? Because I haven't packed it. It was a bargain as well wherever it is I need that then I have my electricals bag which is going to be Ollie's electrical bag as well it has a load of photocopies of my passport but also it's just for things like phone charger I've got a hard drive I've got my little mini tripod extension lead portable phone charger also have to fit my little camera bag which has contains usually the camera that's filming now and then batteries memory cards all things like that so that is everything that is going in my bag now you may be wondering but cat where are all your toiletries do not fear there is a big wash bag that ollie and i are sharing however i do not have space in my bag so i'm making him pack it in his <laughs> is a hanging wash bag. In this top section here, it's quite flat. So we've got two brushes and Ollie's razor. Then here, bar of soap, a bar of conditioner and a bar of shampoo. They're both from Lush, I'll let you know how they are. I have my deodorant, some hair products just to keep the frizz down because it's gonna be humid. My razor and some bug spray and some little makeup wipes for when I might need them. In here, we have a load of spare meds and things because I have another first aid sort of pack which I'll show you in a minute. And then in the bottom, all there is at the moment is my hair comb, but we will also have all of Ollie's contact lenses, I think are going in this little bit. That is everything in my backpack. I also have, oh, I can't show you, clip to the bottom here. A hand stand that clips on the bottom and a little mini microfiber towel and then i have some more clips for anything i want to clip on in the way it might be like my trainers or a towel that needs to dry whatever i need to sort out the packing of this day bag but hey ho that is everything i do plan to do an unpacking video when i come back and let you know what I actually used, what was helpful, what I really didn't need to take, like half of my tops. And I can also give a good review of the bag and see how it suited me, as well as the little day bag. Let you know how it goes. Okay, I'll see you very soon. Bye! <laughs> okay, that's enough, of, that's enough of that. I have been rambling. I hope this video is not too hard to cut.